All right, good afternoon, everyone. Um, this is Rhonda Rothert. And I think most of you have seen emails coming from me, but uh, today I'd like to introduce to you um, Emily Stein from Grossman, Yannick and Ford. She's my coworker. She's going to do today's webinar, which is uh, NetSuite's electronic invoicing. And um, Emily, go ahead and start. Um, floor's yours. Thanks. All right, great. Thank you, Rhonda. So as um, Rhonda mentioned, my name is Emily Stein. I've been with Grossman, Yannick and Ford for a little bit over a year now. Um, and today we're gonna talk about electronic invoicing in NetSuite. So I'm just gonna go ahead and jump right in. Um, just a quick agenda. I'm gonna briefly give you guys an overview of this um, feature. And then I'm gonna discuss, it's kind of two separate features within one. There's the outbound document process and then the inbound process. So I'm gonna give a brief overview of both of those and then go up, um, go over some general system requirements and setup, and then have a bit of a demonstration portion actually in NetSuite. So just a broad overview of this process. Basically, um, this electronic invoicing process allows you to generate or receive um, documents and transform them into NetSuite transaction records. So XML and JSON are the two um, kind of types that you can use for these documents, but basically it allows you to send and receive electronic documents. Um, and I do realize it's called electronic invoicing, which might make you think it's only for invoices, but that's not the case. It actually applies to a broad variety of transactions in NetSuite. Um, and one of the main benefits of this is that it can uh, provide increased automation for your business processes. Um, you can use scripts to run these processes automatically. But another benefit um, that is pretty prevalent today is that it provides increased compliance with governmental and regulatory requirements. Um, there are different countries and different agencies who are requiring electronics transmittal of documents. Um, so that is definitely a benefit of this feature for your business. So as I mentioned within this process, we have the outbound process and the inbound process. So the outbound is generating and sending an electronic document or transaction. So broadly what's gonna happen is that we're gonna generate a transaction record in NetSuite. And then we're gonna generate the e-document um, and get that ready for sending. And then we're actually gonna send that e-document to whoever the intended recipient is. And then they can receive it and transform it into a record in their system. So it's pretty straightforward um, as a broad process. There's some more detailed steps we're gonna get into later, but overall you basically generate and then send a document. Then we have the inbound process, which is what happens when somebody sends you an electronic document. So this is kind of the opposite if we think through the steps. They're going to create a transaction record in their system. They're going to generate and send the e-document and then you will receive it. Um, and it can be received through a variety of methods directly by NetSuite or you can upload them into NetSuite. And then it is actually transformed into a record in NetSuite. Um, so just some broad kind of system requirements and set up for both processes. You do need to install this suite app and uh, all the components of it. And then you can see I've listed here some of the uh, required enabled features. A lot of these are probably already turned on in your NetSuite account, um, but you will need to enable them to use this if you haven't already. And something to note, as I briefly touch on this, uh, there's a lot of documentation provided by NetSuite about electronic invoicing. Um, there's a tech, a little overwhelming how much documentation there is, but there um, are different guides that will kind of step you through all of it as the setup can be a little bit complex. So just keep that in the back of your mind if this is something you're looking at, um, that NetSuite provides a lot of helpful documentation. But some of the other things that I want to note that you can set up, um, one of the methods that you can send e-documents through is email and that's the method I'm going to show you guys today and you can actually define um, what the email that goes out looks like and who the sender is from. So that's just a small tidbit but I think it's helpful that you actually have control over that. And then um, you'll lastly want to just define a recipient of e-document notifications. This is kind of common across different NetSuite features um, like the little box where it says set up, you know, the error message recipient, you'll want to set that up um, so that you can keep good control over what's happening with your different e-document processes. Um, so now we're going to actually go into NetSuite and do a demonstration and this part is pre-recorded, the demonstration bit, so I'm going to um, switch my screens and 
play and hopefully you guys will hear the audio and if you don't uh, somebody just yell at me and we'll get that fixed So this is going to be the demonstration portion of today's webinar. Um, so as you can see, I'm now in NetSuite. And one of the things to note first is that you do get this nice portlet um, with the eDocuments bundle. And it shows you kind of outbound and inbound, left and right here, and then documents for generation and documents for sending. Um, and then documents for conversion and then failures on both of those. Um, so something to note that's kind of an important differentiation between the steps of the outbound process. Generation is different from sending the document. So when we make a test invoice, we're gonna to have to generate the e-document and then we're gonna to have to send it. It does not do that in one joint step. Um, so that's just something I wanna note. These numbers will, this will become a one and then once it's sent, it'll go back to zero and this will become a one. So the first thing that we need to do in kind of our setup is set up an e-document package. So if we come under setup and then e-documents, you can see we have packages, templates, sending methods, um, and a few other things. So the package is the important thing to set up first. So it's pretty straightforward and simple what you need to set up in the package. Um, I basically just named it. And then you do need to set up this inbound um, validation plugin, which I'm not gonna hit on a lot of the inbound thing. Um, but I basically, NetSuite provides you with a validation plugin, and I kind of just made a copy of that. Um, and then you don't actually need to set up anything else on the eDocument package. You'll note down here that it does show you which templates and which sending methods are tied to this package. So the package is what ties those two things together. But it's actually going to tag those on here after we create them. So I didn't add those on the package. They were added by NetSuite after I made it. I literally just named the package, put something in here, and saved it. So after we create the package, what we need to do is create these templates and sending methods. So you can see here I have my test template one. Um, and I've given it a name. You can give it a description if you want. And then here is where you say what package it is. Um, and then there's other kind of validation plugins you can set up if you'd like, but they're not required to, so I'm not going to jump into that today. And then on here is where you can set the transaction type. So you'll notice I'm getting a warning up at the top um, that since I've already used this on a transaction, it's not going to let me adjust the transaction types. So you can select multiple transaction types when you first set it up, but once it's been used, you have to stick with what you've set up. So I've already used this before in another test, so I have to just stick with my invoice setup. And then down here I can select my subsidiaries, obviously, and then you can see if I wanted, I could restrict the editing of transactions. So if I wanted to restrict it, I could say if an e-document has been sent, uh, this transaction can no longer be edited, which is a nice feature that they've incorporated. And then down here is kind of the, the body of the template. So you can see that you need to say whether your um, template is in XML or JSON format. And so this template was actually a um, provided by NetSuite. It's like an example one that NetSuite provides in some of their documentation. So I just grabbed that. You could customize this um, as much or as little as you need to, depending on the requirements of who you're sending documents to. Um, but I didn't customize it at all just because I didn't feel a need to for purposes of this demonstration. And then over here, you can see if we were going to have inbound and outbound documents tagged in this one template, this is where you would put the field mapping to say these fields on the inbound document map to my fields in NetSuite. Um, but we're not going to set that up today. So that is basically all we need to set up for our template. So then the next thing is our sending method. So this was kind of the other portion of this e-document package. Again, we have the template when we have the sending method. So in our sending method, um, we give it a name and then we say e-document package and that's where I grab my package. And then you have to give it kind of this plugin uh, implementation. So I've just grabbed the default that NetSuite provides. And then the thing I wanna talk about most on this sending method is what they've labeled the sending channel. So for purposes of today, again, to keep it simple, I'm gonna send this by email. Um, so you can see all I had to do was type email in here, but you can also use web services to send these. So if you wanted to use kind of a SOPA or REST integration to send e-documents, you could do that. Um, and you would note that in here. 
And then again, we select our transaction type um, with a similar kind of note. Since I've already used this, I can't edit the transaction type. And then we just grab our subsidiaries. So once we've set up all those three things, the package, the templates, and the sending method, um, we're going to need to make adjustments on the customer record. So again, I'm touching the customer record because we're going to do a test invoice today. If this was other transactions, you would need to touch your vendor record. Um, but when you set up the customer record, I just have test customer one here, pretty simple, not information. Um, and you're going to see this new e-documents tab. So you may, it's important to note that you might need to unhide this if you are installing this bundle after you already set up in NetSuite. Um, you're going to need to customize your customer form and unhide these fields. And then you can see on the customer record, I can just say what package I want. So I just say test package one, which is tying together my test template and my test sending method. And then I've selected this little generate PDF box. Um, so it's just going to generate a PDF of the transaction when it sends me the email, which I thought was a good idea because we're sending an email. So it's nice that you have the XML and you have a PDF of it. Uh, that's not necessary if you don't want to. And then you can see down here, we need to add a contact for who's actually going to be the recipient. So your customer says that like our AP or our clerk or AR clerk, whatever, is the recipient. Um, and you can select them down here. So I've just selected myself and put my email in for purposes of our demonstration. So I'm going to go ahead and add an invoice. And I'm going to say test customer one. Let's create a volume with my naming. Oops, sorry, I apologize. It's a little slow. And then we're just going to grab a location and you could fill out whatever other fields you have on your invoice form. And then I'm going to grab an item and this is just a demo account. So it looks like I'm buying a computer today. Nice new monitor. That's great. And then you can see that there's this e-document tab here, and it's actually pulled in from my customer record, the template and the sending method. So remember, I set that package on my record that shows the template and the sending method, and it pulled both of those things in here and remembered my preference that I want to generate the PDF. So you don't even need to look at this tab if you don't want to. So I'm going to go ahead and save this invoice. And it's just going to think about it for a second here. And then you can see that it has put this nice little button up here that says generate e-document. So this is kind of that first step. We first regenerate it, then we send it. So I'm going to go ahead and click generate e-document, which again, you could have a script to do this. Um, I prefer to just do it on the transaction since it's a one-off, but that would be kind of a business process for you to decide whether you want these to be automatically generated or each person to do it one by one. And then you can see we get this nice little green bar. The e-document has been generated. So if I come back home, I can refresh my portlet. And now you'll see that since it's been generated, it's ready for sending. And you can see on here as well, we now have this nice little button to send the e-document. So I'm going to go ahead and press send the e-document. And it's going to say, all right, it's sending. And it's going to think about it here for just a second. And then it's going to refresh the screen and give me a confirmation that the e-document has been sent. So we can come down here and it'll give us kind of the history of what happened. So you can see we have this audit trail to say this was tagged for generation um, and then it was generated and ready for sending and then it was sent. And I've set myself up as the sender just to show you that you can have um, you can set like a different email for who you want to be the sender. And then the recipient is that contact that I tagged on my customer record. So everything is me <laughs> since I was setting up this test, but you can send a different um, sender for the actual e-document. And then you can see now it's showing us the generated PDF and the generated e-document. So in my email, I have an email right now and attached to it, it's got um, first off this PDF, which is just a standard PDF of the document. And then it also has our XML document. And you can see this is what it looks like. Um, so that's pretty much the process for generating and sending e-documents. So now I have an email with that information in it. Um, 
or if we had set it up through web services or whatever, the e-document would be well on its way and it would have been received by your customer. So that's kind of the broad process for how we generate and send outbound e-documents in NetSuite. Um, and again, this works with inbound processes, but it's a little bit more complicated. So I just wanted to touch on the outbound today. Hey, thanks, Emily. Thank you guys for attending today. Um, I wanted to let everyone know I did record the, the webinar. Um,